I want to just briefly, before we have Alan Platt come, who is, is, I'm so excited to be able to hear from him. He and Liana are here today. I want to introduce to you guys as a, as a family um, some people uh, that make up a, some, some accountability teams that we had, we had set in place this last year. We had, we had a goal um, that we shared with some of our core team members at our 15-year anniversary. We had a luncheon up in Lighthouse Point, and one of the goals, we had many goals, but one of the goals was to put in place some advisory boards, restructure our internal board, and, and shore up accountability on ex- an external board with, with, with spiritual fathers that we are looking to um, as a community. And we were able to, to accomplish that goal and see that happen. And, and so over the course of 2018, now as we roll in 2019, we've been meeting with these teams of people. And I want you guys to, to get to know them a little better. And I'll take a, take a minute and just explain um, some of what they're doing. So if we could have our... Our ministry advisory board members come up, our financial advisory board members come up, and our internal board members come up. Just to the front, we'll have internal board in the center, uh, ministry board uh, to the left, and then over here to the left, and then over here to the right, um, financial advisory board. So can we welcome these friends as they come up here to, to stand, be introduced to all of you? Awesome, awesome. Some of our team is away on business, but I want to, to take a minute and introduce to you our ministry advisory board. Now, these are, these are friends in this community that have gone full in and really own and believe in what God is up to here and want to partner with our executive team, which is myself, Felicia, Samuel, and Julie, and the rest of our staff um, to see health and life flourish within all the ministries of the harbor. So we have some beautiful times of connection, some conversation. Because how many of you know when you're in the, the work of anything that you may be doing, maybe it's in your own job, it's so nice to have an, an outsider yet insider come in and have conversation with you and give you some fresh perspective. How many of you know that's super valuable, super important, and super healthy for building as we move forward? And so uh, Sergio and Karen Plazan, who are, who are not here, he's out of town in India on business, is one of our ministry advisory boards. Shannon Adams, Ashley Lamar, uh, David Savatelli, um, Jimmy and Terry Moss are also make up this team. And so can we give it up for all, all these people that, that come and, and sacrifice additional time to sit and connect with us? Yes. Brian Sedoma. Sorry, Brian's there as well. You, 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 are, you are welcome and, and loved and appreciated and, and remembered. Amen. <laughs> Sorry, the, these names are in color and I can't, I can't see the names. It's, uh, pray for me. All right. The Financial Advisory Board, uh, Eddie and Karen DeVoe, who are, are way on business as well and make up that. Uh, Bill and Agnes Hannafin. Is Bill Hannafin here today? No. Nope. Oh, there he is. Okay. Sorry, Bill. Can't see you either. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Bonnie Zhao right here who helps us, Martha Lopez, and uh, Lucas and Caroline Rodriguez. Am I missing anybody? Can we get it up for these friends? Now, in way of explanation, what happens with our financial advisory board is, you know, each year we, we, we have a budget, we, we, um, we, we put out a report to all those that give to this community in detail, you know, where those monies went, where they were spent. But there's a lot of intricacy to, to what goes on within that space. And so we have some friends that are part of our community that we sit with and we go deeper with them in those numbers. And, and it really is, is beautiful because it provides such a healthy accountability so they know all that's going on here in great detail. They're able to ask us questions. They're able to, to, to just have conversation with, about, with us about what's going on in the realm of finances. And, and we really believe and, and have for some time that, that God, by his grace one day, is going to enable us to steward millions of dollars for the purposes of the glorification of his son and the kingdom of God. And how many of you know that it's, it's really important for us to have many eyes on what's happening in the financial realm? So could we give it up for this uh, financial advisory board? They're incredible. And then on our internal board, which is primarily non-staff members that make up this governing team, 
Uh, we have Sylvia Alvarez. We have Clay and Tanya Brasington. We have Felicia and Ray Gordon. And we have my good friend Anton Venter here. And, and I want to introduce to you Anton because Anton is not a part of this community, um, but he is, is, is a part of a movement that we are connect, connected to through the Doxadale family of churches. And it's called the City Changers Movement. And you're going to be hearing from Alan Platt in just a minute, who's the founder of that, 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 that church uh, network and also this, this movement of ministry. And, and Anton is uh, the mad scientist of ministry. I mean, this guy is brilliant, a genius. Uh, he's got his doctorate degree in organizational management. And he has agreed to come and sit with our internal board and work with our advisory boards, our executive team, to help us find our way in this process. Um, the majority of what we're doing, we're modeling after what Doxadeo, um, how they're structured governmentally. And, and, and I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to this internal board and to Anton Venter and his wife Bernice and their family for coming and serving us. Um, they're not, none of these people are getting paid for what they're doing. So could we give a massive, massive thank you to Jesus for for these friends. Amen. And what I want to do is I just want us to extend our hands and our hearts and pray over these. You know, we'll have, they'll, they'll serve for terms. We'll have other people come in and, and serve in these roles in the future as well. Um, but could we just, for, for the moment that we find ourselves in right now, could we ask God just to really be with us as we, as we move forward in this new normal, which has produced so much fruit already, trust me. I'm seeing this behind the scenes. It's so beautiful. But could we extend our hands and our hearts and, and, and just, Lord, we thank you for these beautiful friends and their willing, willingness to just serve and to, and to stand and to help us, God, as a church community to represent the rest of our partners within this house to see health and life come in our ministry, come in our finances, Come in the way that we govern and steward the beautiful treasure called the Harbor Church community that you've entrusted us with. God, we are so humbled and so privileged and so honored to, to stand on your behalf and to, to lead and to lay our lives down on behalf of this region and this nation and the nations of the earth through this beautiful community called the Harbor. And, and, and we say, Lord, we want more. As we steward what you've given us, give us more. Entrust us with more so that you can receive more glory, Lord. So we look to this collective team and what you're doing through them to take us into our tomorrow. So we say we love you, Lord. We worship you in Jesus' name. Give it up for them one more time as they are seated. Amen, amen.